axe should go on the rock wall over there first. I can climb this. Get up this far. Should we head back up to the bunker? Nah, let's wait out the storm. Got it! Stay alert. Let's move inside. That's a good idea. We got some time. Might as well relax. We'll probably put us on wreck for later. So what do you think they use it for? What? Radio tower? Yeah. Still works, right? Probably. We got people up there guarding it day and night. Father Matthias doesn't want anyone going near him. You think he has a line on the outside? Why do you think most survivors ever make it up this far? What do you mean? Matthias knows exactly when a new ship is coming in. We always have plenty of time to prepare. So, the suspicion. Using that tower to our ships. Exactly. But why? I think he's trying to find her. The key. <laughs> Do you really believe in any of that? I... I don't know. Look, we shouldn't be talking about it. Let's just get some rest. Yeah, you're probably right. to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined.
Lara, are you there? Reyes, did you find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Hey! hey Please! Wake up! Wake up! You don't need to do this! Hey! Come on! Grab! How'd she get up here? Okay, let's fight! I'm telling you, Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Who's this little fox, oh, huh? Oh, she's cute, huh? <laughs> cute, hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I'll be right with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Cut, 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 cut! Cut! Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. A discoverer. The world renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. Dr. James Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip. 
and then slice them down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, Lara, pull yourself together. They're counting on you. even work after so many years.
this bunker. World War II era. Probably Japanese. Let's just leave it here for now. <sighs> we can get some of the others up front to help us out. Fine with me. Let's go. Looks weak. There's no way to run, outsider. What the hell? I'm gonna watch you die now. Don't fight it. Where are you going? field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. Now!
Father Matthias will set us free. From what? This island? a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It's...
Damn! How many are there? There have been other survivors, but I've avoided them. And if they got in my way, I was not merciful. But now I know I need others. Keep her away from the tower! 
Soldiers' identity tags. I don't recognize the kanji. Were these used during World War II? Endurance. We are stranded on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. We need help and medical supplies. Please respond. Come on, come on. Mayday, Mayday. This is Lara Croft of the Endurance. This is aircraft Nautilus 177 Alpha. 
Searching for you since the distress call from your vessel. Almost given up hope. So had we. We've got your approximate position, but we could sure use a visual. I'll figure something out. We'll be heading your way soon. Now. Oh, oh! <laughs> Laura Croft, you are my hero! <laughs> hey, you know, Reyes actually just cracked a smile. <laughs> Find a way to light this fuel. Do the trick.
Get it out of my head. A storm that came out of nowhere, out of a clear sky, and brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. There must be some explanation. I, I just don't know what it is yet. Nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. <sighs> On my way. like a good spot to hook into.
I'm really glad you moved. <laughs> you and me both, girl. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm. It came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Laura. I called them here, Roth. Hey, we'll find another way. Uh, mayday, mayday. This is co-pilot Justin Bavir. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, badly hurt when I landed. I need to aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. His signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Roth. Clear. 